I just want to tell you that when I was about four years old and playing in a little play area that was fenced in in a beautiful garden that was created by my parents, I was playing in my sandbox. It was a beautiful day. The clouds were moving overhead. And this was in New Jersey, in Red Bank, where I was born. And all of a sudden, as though someone turned a dial, I was a child playing in the sand along the Nile River. And I experienced the beauty of that scene as a child. It was as real as where I had just been in my own little play yard. After some time, I don't know how much time passed, it was as though the dial turned again, and I was back at home, back in that little play yard. I wasn't dizzy. I wasn't dazed. I hadn't passed out. I was just continuing to play in the sand. So I jumped up, and I ran to find my mother. I found her cooking at the kitchen stove. And I said, Mother, and I, then I recounted what had happened to me, and I said, what happened? And she sat me down, and she sat and looked at me across the table, and she said, you have remembered a past life. Instead of ridiculing or denying what I experienced, she explained to me that the soul does not necessarily have the ability to accomplish her mission, her reason for being in a single lifetime, and that the soul is eternal. And so if we need another lifetime and another to fulfill our mission, God gives us a new mommy and daddy, and we come out of a new mommy's tummy. But it's the same soul. It's the same person. And our body is like a coat we wear. It wears out before we're through with what we have to do. She explained to me in the simplest childlike terms that I could understand. I had already observed children who were born maimed or blind, some people gifted, some people wealthy. She said she could never understand an unjust God in terms of one life, that the justice of God must be the continuity of being. My heart pondered God and Jesus as I had been praying to Jesus since a small child. I saw the naturalness of it, and I realized that there must be some reason why God had showed me this past life. And I didn't find out the reason till I was well into adulthood and realized that that life was key to the work that I had to do in this life. No doubt, at that moment, there was transferred to me some substance of myself, perhaps some heavy karma that I had to balance, a mission I had not fulfilled in that moment of that glimpse into the distant past. Since that time, God has revealed to me other incarnations where I have learned lessons of momentums of good that I have built, which I could build upon, of mistakes I have made, some serious mistakes, serious karma, that I had to balance in this life. That, in fact, is why we are all here. You have wonderful momentums of good karma that you bring with you, and you also have negative karma that must be balanced with individuals, persons, no doubt, in your family today, people you know or people you will meet. Life is a challenge and an opportunity. A long time ago, Reincarnation and karma was removed from church doctrine, and Christendom has suffered ever since. Since this is such a key thread in the understanding of our soul's journey, I ask you to stay with me this evening because I have much to say on the subject. I don't want to leave a stone unturned in bringing to you this understanding so that you can do your own research, meditate, and consider what you come to in your own heart regarding this subject. You should not believe something because I say it, but because the Lord Jesus Christ is speaking to you in your own heart and confirming that truth.
The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030 USA.